Let's get the Porsche. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Well, hello guys and welcome to round four of our championship series here in Aceto Corsa Competizione. So we're driving Silverstone today, a typical cloudy day. It actually looks like there may be a little bit of rain on the horizon, but hopefully it'll stay dry. Don't really want to do another wet race. <laughs> they're, uh, they're not a whole lot of fun. So we're in seventh position on the grid today. I've really actually struggled with Silverstone this week in the uh, McLaren 720 S GT3 car. I've, uh, I've, the track is really bumpy and I, as you guys know, I only have 30 minutes practice and 15 minutes qualifying to figure out everything, including my car setup. So I did quite a bit of back and forth thing today, trying to get my car set up right. Ended up running, uh, ended up landing pretty much back at a default setting. Just had a lot of trouble through sector two with the back end getting away from me. So I ended up pretty much back at default setup with just some minor adjustments to my, uh, tire pressures to try and keep them in the optimal range. The tires on the left-hand side of the car run hotter than the right-hand side here, so you can kind of account for it with pressures a little bit. But I've got to say a big thank you once again to Acetec Sim Sports for sponsoring today's video and making this video series possible. We're actually running the full retail version of their pedals on the rig now. The review on those is coming very soon, and they're uh, running a special on the pre-order pricing wise until the end of February as well so if you order before the end of February you do get a special price so definitely check that out links are down in the description below as well as a link to our first look at the prototype and uh, yeah the review is coming soon as well so check that out all the details down in the description for you guys and if you want to see the previous races in this championship as well jump down in the description and you'll see all the other rounds there as well as the upcoming rounds listed too so we're running equal first in the championship at the moment but I've got a feeling that may drop after today's race, starting from seventh, 20 minutes to get the job done. So, hoping we won't go backwards today. <laughs> I actually have no idea what to expect because I've really struggled with this circuit. So, and yeah, it, it surprised me. I thought this was gonna be a strong one for me because I am quite experienced here in iRacing, but yeah, it just hasn't translated across as closely as I thought it might. Mostly because of the bumps. The surface is really bumpy in ACC. So, we'll give it our best shot. Let's get ready for the launch here. What gear is going to be best here? First or second? Probably second. The Lambo in front of us spitting flames. Don't want to get too close. Okay. Good launch. Bar on the left. Whoa. Bar on the left. Jeez. <laughs> so what's going on here? Porsche on the side there. Scrambling all over the place. Okay. Look how bumpy it is. Crazy. <laughs> I don't know how bumpy it is in real life, but it's certainly a lot bumpier here in ACC than it is in iRacing. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Don't you cut me in. Oh. That was too close. Car on the left. Whoa. Clear on the left. A dive bomb on the left there as well from the Lambo. Jeez. Lost, lost a bunch of time there, just having to back out of that corner and miss the apex to avoid an accident. Tyres still not quite up to temperature. Got to be a little bit careful. Oh yeah, didn't quite pull up. Get the Porsche. Car on the right. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Clear on the right. Oh, back in trying to get away from me there. Mm. 
So Jack Aiken in the Lambo up next. Let's see what we can do. Oh, a little bit of a cut there. Didn't get called for it, but... That line seems to work pretty well. I think that's going to be my line. Bit of a gap for me behind. Mm, second might be better there. Bit of a kick. Good old McLaren just reminding me who's boss. Tire pressure's still a little low on the right hand side of the car. You can see there, we've got 27.4, 27 flat on the left-hand side, which is still a little low, but okay. And then the right-hand side. Is lower than I want it to be in the mid-27s, ideally. Having said that, grip feels okay, so we're just gonna ride it out. It just means I could be a little bit more aggressive with the throttle not have to worry too much about overcooking the tyres. Oh, that didn't work for me. <laughs> I hope it was at that turn. This is so inconsistent there. again. Little mistakes, they make the difference. Still in fifth. Yeah, second works better there, get a bit more bite. Come on. That was a very scruffy lap. Half a second down on the previous lap. Let's see if we can make up for it. Yeah, it's still half a second down before we cross the finish line, so... Wasn't able to make up the time. Oh! Rear tires out on the dirt, we're okay. That's better. Yeah, definitely happy with this setup. I know it's not as fast on a hot lap, but it's so much more stable. Struggling to close this gap.
Bu. Low speed turns, no downforce. Back end gets sketchy. Gaining a bit now. Much quicker lap. 202.09. Yeah, tire pressures are still a little low on that right hand side. We'll know that for next time. getting close again. Found some pace. Fontana. Jack, what you got? Let's get him. Car on the right. Where's he gonna break? He's still there. Kept it clean. He broke a lot earlier than I was expecting. <laughs> That's brought Fontana back into contention again too. He's caught back up again. Two goes to get that apex. <laughs> All right, let's try the same thing again. Good exit. Let's see if we can get in this time. Whoa, big twitch. <laughs> oh, nearly didn't get it pulled up.
I don't think we're going to be able to get in there. Got a big understeer moment then. Under big pressure from Fontana behind now too. Seven minutes to go. Again, starting to feel a little sketchy through there now. Might be breaking too late there, maybe. I don't know. him again Close enough this lap. close as we've been. He's too fast for me. a little sooner that time to see if it would help. Turn the headlights on, it's starting to get a bit dark. Two minutes to go.
Gonna have to make it happen. Come on. Still there. Clear on the right. Switch, get a switch back. This is too fast. All right, final lap. Getting slidey. Not too many opportunities left now. Oh boy. Got to get a good run. Come on. No, I don't think so. Ooh. <laughs> Get the power down, but nah. Oh, what a battle though, that was awesome. Woo! <laughs> Didn't quite get the move done, but oh man, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, gotta be happy. Okay, still gained a couple of spots, went from seventh to fifth, but a race long battle there with uh, Jack Aiken. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, let's go have a look at the uh, results, huh? Okay, so quick look here at the race results. Not sure what the deal is with these doubled up names. I'm guessing probably because we've got more cars on the grid than names in the real life roster, something like that. But anyway, fifth position, we've got uh, 3.6 second gap to Jack in front there. Almost got past him a couple of times, but it wasn't to be today. Six seconds off the lead. Probably would have been a little bit closer if we'd been able to get past Jack, but we weren't. So it is what it is. Let's have a look at the championship standings. So championship standings wise, we're sitting in top position now with 55 points, 51 points for second, 42 for third. I think what's happening here is the cars that are finishing in the higher positions in one race end up finishing lower in another race. So I don't think it's really particularly uh, particularly accurate here based on the, you know, the skill levels of the different drivers, but all a bit of fun. So thank you very much for watching guys. Leave a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed as well if you're not already so you don't miss future videos like this one as well as our upcoming reviews. We've got a whole bunch of exciting things in the pipeline as well some really exciting news for the channel which we'll be announcing in the next few days so stick around for that thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you again soon bye